Check this out. You hit the lock button one uh -huh. time. Hit that button. One. Now you gotta let it idle down. So okay. when it's on cold start, you do gotta let it idle down a little bit. Otherwise, this feature will not work because they want the engine to be within operating temperatures. So you hear how it just dropped? Yeah, it's dropped so, a little bit. So now you hit the lock button, the lock unlock, and then the lock button again. Oh, and that's you cool. Do that one more time. Oh, that's nice. Well, thank you for checking out Cars, Shops, and Collections. And today, we're going to see one of the most talked about cars of the year, talking about the 2024 Ford Mustang Dark Horse. It's Gen 7, top of the line Ford Mustangs. And they're really hard to find because they're either custom ordered or when they get to the lot, they're sold right away. We're in Henderson, Nevada. And right down the street is Ford Country. My buddy at Ford Country called me. They've got one on the lot and we're hoping that it has not been sold. So let's get in my car over here as a driver's side and go check out the 2024 Ford Mustang Dark Horse. I think it's really cool and kind of fitting because we started the year over at Shelby American and Gary Patterson, the president, he unveiled for us the official unveiling of the 2023 Carroll Shelby Centennial Edition Mustang. We're the first ones to see it. Gentlemen. <laughs> the Centennial Edition, Carroll Shelby Centennial Edition Mustang. And now seeing this, we're, we're bookending these uh, Mustangs. Ford Country, one of the top uh, Ford dealerships in the country. Oh, it's still here, and there it is right there. Perfect, 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 perfect. We should also say this is not a paid sponsorship by Ford Country. No, we just love Ford Country. I mean, these guys are the best. Oh, man. As you pull up in your Dodge. I know. <laughs> I did have a Ford, just so you know, side note, prior to having the Challenger, I had a Ford Mustang hydroplaned on a road called the 215 here in Vegas, hit the median, totaled the car. That's how I got this. This is wicked, man. How cool is this, Gene? See this right here? That is neat. All right, let's go find Brian and break this thing down. Hey, what's up, buddy? Merry Christmas, how's it going? Have you met Gene, my photographer? This is Brian. I am, uh, I'm happy I didn't sell it. Well, we did. <laughs> we did sell it. Okay. And the guy's actually supposed to be here somewhere between 8.30 and 9. Okay, perfect. So let's get jumping on this thing right now. Hi, my name's Brian. My name's Brandon with Ford Country, and we're here to show you the 2024 Ford Mustang Dark Horse. All right, fellas, well, again, thank you for, uh, for showing us this car. I'm, I'm really excited to break this thing down. Why don't we start with the, the front of it, and it's, it's a menacing look to it, and, and I've heard people say that it, it does look like, like a galloping horse coming at you. Yeah, and they squeezed it up a little bit, give it a little bit more aerodynamics. Um, they did, this is now one of the higher horsepower Mustangs they do make with just the 5.0 in it. They are getting 500 horsepower out of this bad boy now. Which, that is the, that's the most amount of horsepower in a Ford Mustang outside of a Shelby edition. And outside of the, yeah, the GT500s or the 302s. I like how I'm pressing the Ford guy on these stats. He's like, yeah, let me, yeah, let me correct you there on that. The front end too, it looks like too, by the way, this looks like two the nostrils of a horse. It does look like a horse is coming at me. It is so cool. Yeah. How, how rare is it to have one of these on, on the lot? It is very rare. You know, we're lucky to see maybe one or two of them a year, mm -hmm. um, but it, it really just depends, you know? And do you have the keys to, to lock it and lock it? Because the front lights, watch the lights here. They kind of do like a little show when you lock it and unlock it. I think that's so cool. They also identify you when you walk up to it. So it'll actually do it as soon as you get close to the car and, and wake it up. And it'll start letting you know it knows you're around. So as we're calling it, the car wakes up when you approach it. Yeah, car, once you get go. within about 20 feet of the car, it wakes up, lets you, and it says, here I am, right? And let's go. The dark horse badge too on the side, that's really neat too. And I know there's little nuances too, like right here, the Mustang, the dark horse here. You know the cool thing about that emblem, right? What's that? There's a local tie in there. How? Silver Knights, baby. 
Oh, yeah, that's right. And for those that don't know, the Silver Knights, it's our, it's our minor league hockey team. We have the Vegas Golden Knights, and then we have the Silver Knights, which also play here in Las Vegas. I, I can see the resemblance between the two. Yeah, yeah it's kind of cool. Playing. What's the official color of the car? This is called uh, Atlas Blue Metallic. Atlas Blue Metallic? That's correct. It pops in the sun. Talk to me about the, the new design, Gen 7. Uh, it looks like a different design of the Mustang. What are some of the, the changes, some of the nuances in the Gen 7 Mustang? So a lot of it went back to almost like the 429 Boss 69 models. They widened up the body a little bit, flattened out this rear fender, took the back end down a little bit deeper in the back oh, so yeah. it's more like a hatchback instead of a trunk to get that appearance, right? Um, the lower fascias, all that changed to handle the dual exhaust because you did have just the single port exhaust before. Can we point out how big the exhausts are too? I oh, dude, it's, it's crazy. It's huge. Crazy. I like the fact that they went to that kind of a Euro design, that single rear reverse light down below too. Oh yeah, right here, yeah. Yeah, instead of being in the tail lights, let the tail lights stand out by themselves, get you the sequential like it was before. That, I mean, the Dark Horse logo, it is so cool. Do you have the keys to unlock it? Because does the back do a show as well? It does have like a nice little dynamic. Kind of does that same thing, that glow kind of. Yeah. You know, it's funny, it's very, it's very, comparable to, remember Knight Rider, right? Oh yeah! The, so the light just kind of does sure. that glare back and forth and stuff. I know I'm aging myself right now. Are you kidding me? There are so many Knight Rider fans. I love the, that reference. Turn signals too, this, the, the, uh, the Ford Mustang, the classic, does it blink to the blink out, to the blinkers when you put them on? Yep. Left and right? Yeah, they'll do the sequential blink out. It does have its own spoiler too, that's specifically to the Dark Horse package. A little bit more sportier, doubled up a little bit, and, and it's gonna, Start leaning you towards another Mustang that's coming out that you're gonna have to see once we get one. And what's that? The GTD. The GTD? The GTD, that's the new race car that Ford's making that replaces the Ford GT. Okay, is it official that this is the official winner of the, the Muscle Car Wars? Camaro is done. Camaro's done. We saw the last call. We were there at the Las Vegas Motor Speedway when Dodge brought out the, the last, last Dodge. Dodge Challenger. Yeah. The Dodge Challenger, the Charger is done. Yep. Ford Mustang Gen 7 is still continuing. Can First we, one and last one, baby. Can we crown this the official champion of the Muscle Car it's, Wars? Yeah, and me, I would, right? It's the first one and the last one. Yeah, it's crazy. You know, and it's always gonna be that iconic brand. That's one thing they're just never gonna go away from, right? Even when they came out with the Mach-E, right? Mm -hmm. They wanted it to play off of that Mustang platform. It could have been its own thing, but we introduced it as a separate car yeah. rather than taking the iconic car away in order to bring an electric car out. This is neat, man. Can we see the inside of it? Absolutely. It's got smart entry, so you can just go ahead and grab onto it. It sees the key. And you can see the badging carries on into the inside down here on the rockers. You know, you have Oh yeah, you see it on that side right there, Gene? Mustang, Dark Horse, that's cool. Yeah. Okay, up here, Dark Horse, the R1384, is this? That's the this serial thing? number of the car. So is this the 1,384th Dark Horse made? Yes, sir. No kidding. Yeah, they're gonna serial number every last one of the Dark Horses, so you'll know exactly which one you got. How many are they making? Is there a number that we know? No, nah, I mean, you know, it's one of those things, they always throw a number out, but then guess what? You know, things get in the way, or things say, hey, too big of a demand, we're gonna add more. Why don't you pop in the driver's side and kind of, let's, let's break down this dash, because it's so cool, the two displays we have up front here. So what you have is you have one continuous screen, but it's really two different displays. But it's very um, kind of airplane cockpit looking kind of thing, right? Identifies itself, If you, I don't know if you noticed when we first turned it on, it said Dark Horse, but also the serial number pops up too in the radio so that you, you know which one you're on. Everything is customizable. You can change your look and feel to whatever you want to see going on on the dash when you're personally driving it. So it's it's now your car, right? Mm -hmm. Brian, this is incredible. Um, I know there's, so you said there's different displays here. I heard that you can pull up the Fox body display. Yes, sir. Okay, how do we do that? Now you're gonna challenge me. Uh -huh. See, that's where, that's where branding comes in. So you see down where it says um, cluster mode? or cluster, cluster theme yeah i'm sorry now if you scroll all the way to the bottom you'll see that 87 ah, to 93 look at fox that. body screen that is cool and it pops up right here yeah. 
So now you still have more information, right, in today's yeah. technology world, which is cool, right? And that information in the center, you can still change. And it just depends on what mode you want to have it in um, and what you really want to see. You know, so if you're on a track and you're performing, you want to keep an eye of your brake temperature, your trans temperature, all that stuff. You can even do track times on it if you wanted to. Um, make sure your tires are the right place. All this information that it gives you. Because they really, believe it or not, Ford really wants you to drive the heck yeah. out of this car, right? They want you on that road and bragging. You know, because like you said, it's, it's the last of the survivors. It's, this is, I mean, technically this has won the muscle car war. Yeah. When you start it up, there's different sounds for the exhaust, correct? That's correct. Where do, where do you see that feature? You're gonna see that also back in your in your um, your home page with that pony. So hit that pony again, or you can hit the back button on the exhaust. So um, so you get your exhaust modes over here. So right now we are in the track exhaust, so this That's is the, be loudest? the loudest. All right, let's, version let's of turn it off. And let's can we go through them? Turn it on and off and test. Hear what they all sound like. Quiet mode. Perfect for driving through the neighborhood. You don't wake the neighbors in the morning. So what do you want to do? You want to work your way up? Yeah, let's start quiet. Let's start with the, the quietest mode. There's your quietest mode. Ready? You heard that switch. Yeah, uh-huh. Mode one. There's your normal mode. Here comes your sport mode. And then your final track mode. Hit it. That's 500 horsepower right there. So what is this feature? So this is the remote rev, new okay. for 2024. You can basically rev up your Mustang from 20, 30 feet away. As you're like, walking up to your car? As you're walking up. All right, show us this feature. So check this out. You hit the lock button one uh -huh. time. Hit that button. One. Now you gotta let it idle down. So okay. when it's on cold start, you do gotta let it idle down a little bit. Otherwise this feature will not work because they want the engine to be within operating temperatures. So you hear how it just dropped? Yeah, it's dropped so, a little bit. So now you hit the lock button, the lock unlock and then the lock button again. Oh, that's you do cool. do that one more time. Oh, that's nice. That is cool. Isn't that pretty sweet? Yeah, I love hey. to hear that sound every time I walk it up to my car. It's ready to go. Yeah. That's neat. Yeah, that's a cool feature. Can we see under the hood? Absolutely. That's the best part. Yeah, right? This is so, what we're going to see is the the Coyote engine, V8 Coyote. The Coyote engine. Perfect. What you're gonna see a little bit of difference though. Woo! So it also has its own specific identifier with the cross member from the strut tower. Uh -huh. Tell you that it is a dark horse as well. It's right there. You know, and then to fit that all in there, then they went to the also carbon fiber, a little bit different intake look than what you see on your normal um, 5.0. Noticing a little extra air filter going yeah, on here for the airflow and demand right. and stuff. And you know, normally you only see one of these bad boys, right? We got dual. So yeah, they for 2024, they went with a dual throttle body. So you got more air coming into the engine. They got upgraded to camshafts mm -hmm. or strengthened camshafts. And also uh, you got forged internals from the GT500. So this motor is built to handle that power and anything you throw at it. This thing is so neat. It is so cool. Starting price on one of these? About 59,000. And going, going, going how high? They got a lot of options there. I think what's our top end? Somewhere. You can get up into the 90s. Yeah, you really? You can get them with, it, with the Recaro racing seats too. Right, which this one has the specific blue stitching and everything for the dark horse, but uh -huh. it is not that, that is not the Recaro seats. One, there's one little nuance. Well, two things I want to point out. First off, the brake right here. Just a throwback or does this work? That is gonna be your drift brake. So that's new for 2024 as well. Mm -hmm. um, Ford decided to throw in a drift brake for the guys that wanna get a little swirly or take it out on the track. I like that. Very, very capable. Shifter right here is really cool. And here's a little cool little, little Easter egg on the dark horse. Right back here, the different generations. See a gene right there? 
There's different generations of the Ford Mustang right there. I think that's a... Uh, and then this one specifically is the 10-speed automatic, but it is also available with the six-speed manual. The six-speed? Yep. Also, too, I got to thank you, Brian. If you go back to our episode with Kirk, he had his 1970 Boss 302. We are doing a ride-along. Went sideways. Went sideways. We had, we had a little issue. We had a little breakdown, and I know I can, you, you two connected, and you got that Boss 302. Got him back on the road, yeah. We had to put a new throw-out bearing and, and clutch in it for him. And, Says the car's actually driving better than he's ever driven it before. Of course, he brought it down here to see Ford. Stepped up the quality of that for him because he said it, he had a couple times that that went out for him. And then also Brian has been on the show before because we had an episode where you guys had, uh, we broke down the Ring Brothers. Yeah, the Ring Brothers Mustang. bailout Mustang. Yeah, yeah the 66. Gorgeous Mustang. This is incredible. It, it's really neat to see, to see this. And I feel a little rushed because I know the owner is on his way down. The owner is on his way. So I don't want the guy to be pulling in like, what are these guys doing with my Mustang? So thank you both for, for showing us the, uh, the dark horse. Really appreciate it, man. Likewise. All right, thank you guys for watching. Appreciate it. If you want your car, shop, or collection featured on the show, then shoot us an email at carsshopsandcollections at gmail.com. That's carsshopsandcollections at gmail.com. And thanks for watching, and be sure and subscribe so you don't miss any future episodes of Cars, Shops, and Collections.